Hey everyone, it's Mel. Today I'm going to be talking about the movie The Boat. The Boat was created by brothers Winston Azopardi and Joe Azopardi. And originally released at the Fantastic Film Fest on September 22nd, 2018. The brothers co-wrote the script and brother Joe was the star while brother Winston was the director. The Boat is a one-actor film similar to Castaway, Moon, and The Shallows. It is a blend of horror, mystery, and thriller. It is more of an atmospheric horror film. So if you like films like The Witch and Ari Aster's films, Hereditary and Midsummer, I think you'll really like this movie. It leans more heavily into mystery and thriller thriller versus horror, but the atmosphere is genuinely fantastic. The beginning of the film is beautifully shot and paced. The music and sound design increase the tension and drive the story forward. As the film transitions into the second act, that's where I see a couple issues. The pacing becomes very erratic, being very slow for long periods of time, and then fast action sequences for a couple of seconds to try to break it up. And building tension to the climax seems to happen a little too early in the movie. The scene in the bathroom should have been the pinnacle of the climax, but they try to add several smaller incidental climax points that just slow down the pace and seem to drag the movie on. The end also leaves much to be desired. Yet the pacing of the ending leading to the final scene doesn't abruptly take you out of the story, but it does feel like a really cheap way to end the movie. It just brings us back to the first shot in the movie with no real motivation for why we did that. The only motivation I could kind of think of is the main character escaped from the boat who was threatening him. So that was uh, his way of like escaping in a way, but still being at the cove. However, the boat chooses to let him off in that area. So it, I get that they were going for like a, he's kind of in hell, he's back in the cycle, but it felt motivated and flat and it didn't, it didn't like, uh, didn't surprise you or make you feel excited for that. So regardless of my critiques of the film, if you like atmospheric movies, if you like thrillers and horrors, and if you're a fan of one man uh, films, I definitely think you should watch it. You might not watch it a second time, but I think you'll enjoy it one time. Thanks.